Our vision is to delete blood cancer. And this means that our mission is that we give as many second chances at life to patients with leukemia or other blood disorders as possible. We are the largest network of donor centers in the world. We are present in Germany since 1991, then we went to US, to Poland, to UK, to Chile and to India. The Life Science Lab is the leading lab that we have in the world. Our aim is that the physicians in the transplant centers know they get the best stem cell product they can get. The DKMS Life Science Lab is based in Dresden, Germany. We are the largest HLA typing lab in the world. Every year we type more than a million samples. That means from all the donors worldwide, we are typing nearly every second donor. Our state-of-the-art high-throughput workflow is based on next-generation sequencing with Illumina instruments. And just recently, we installed the NovaSeq. With that instrument, we are able to process 16,000 samples within two days at minimal costs. Our latest innovation was the development of a CMV assay that does not depend on blood samples. Instead, we determine the CMV status from the same buckle swap that are used for HLA typing. I'm particularly proud that we managed to establish key genotyping at allelic resolution to characterize all our donors, but also to support clinical studies that help to pinpoint which donor patients' combinations are the most beneficial. The Collaborative Biobank is a research project coordinated by the Clinical Trials Unit, the Scientific Research Unit of DKMS. It aims at collecting biosamples from donors and recipients and does this in collaboration with transplant centers, collection centers and donor centers. The research goals of the Collaborative Biobank are to improve the prevention, diagnosis and treatment of blood cancer, to improve the results of allogeneic stem cell transplantation and to improve donor selection for stem cell transplantation. Currently, we have more than 30,000 research samples stored at the biobank, which can be provided to researchers. Many samples taken from the biobank have already entered clinical research projects. Every year, young researchers can apply for the John Hansen grant. John Hansen died, unfortunately, last year, and we decided to rename our grant for young researchers in the world with a John Hansen grant. I was very grateful to find out that I uh, had been awarded the John Hansen Research Grant. My three research focuses are chronic graft versus host disease, the prediction and prevention of the infectious complications of transplant, and immune reconstitution following bone marrow transplant. And one of the findings that I have is that short chain fatty acids are actually different in patients who get chronic graft versus host disease and those who don't. And those chemicals are things that are made by the microbes living in the gut. And so maybe there's a way that we can manipulate the microbiome and that that will then change the patient's immune system and potentially prevent chronic graft versus host disease. We want to provide patients in need of a stem cell transplant with the best possible donor. And this we do regardless of nationality or financial status. We help also people with related stem cell transplant. For family donations, we have the family donor typing project where we send out buckle swaps to donors abroad and do the typing. We had an example just recently, a 25-year-old woman from Guatemala in the US and she was in need of an urgent transplantation. Her only full match was her brother. He still lives in Guatemala and he didn't get a visa to travel to the US for the donation. DKMS was then contacted and was asked if they can help. And fortunately, people from Guatemala, they don't need a visa to get to Chile. So our colleagues in Chile took over where then the donation has happened. DKMS Chile operates both as registry and donor center with the hope of increasing the size and diversity of our database of potential stem cell donors. As Chile's only registry, we also take the responsibility of coordinating searches for Chilean patients as an offered service for transplant centers. 
we've registered more than 40,000 potential stem cell donors and we've already given 29 second chances at life. Since we began our activities in Chile, we've worked closely with the national transplant centers by providing them stem cell products and supporting them as much as we can during the search, CT and workup processes. We've also reduced the cost of the stem cell products in order to make them more affordable for the health system and the patients. Alone last year, we made 7,700 second chances at life possible. This is a share of 42% that we were responsible for. And we want to be better and better and better in this field.